let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with my baby skin Maybelline primer. And we're going to just cover those pores. Alright, so I am going to be reviewing some products today in the meantime while I do my tutorial. So, But before we get into that, let's go ahead and use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to prime my eyes. And also I'm going to go ahead and prime under my eyes today because I'm going to be using a mineral powder foundation instead of the regular liquid foundation. So with my fingers I am going to go ahead and just blend the concealer. So now that I went ahead and applied my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and set it with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. I'm going to set it with the yellow shade. Alright, so now that I went ahead and set that, I am going to go now and start with the eyes. So I am going to be using tape just to get a more defined look. How cute is this? I hope you got it for me. Alright, so I am so into right now the teal and the aquas. Um, I think that, that is my color for the summer or for the spring, I should say, but I am so like into it. So I am going to be using teal in this look, and I am going to be going with this teal right here. And let's see what I could create. To get started, I am going to use this color right here. It's like a beige sand color, and that's going to be my, trans my transition shade color. I'm going to go with this one right here, and this is like a purple um, taupey color. You can see it's like a taupe up here. And these colors are very nice. They just have a lot of fallout, and it does take a little bit to build up. So you have to be patient with this palette if you have it. I'm not sure with the new palette that they came out with, but this one in particular, you just have to build it up. Build it up. So we're just gonna fast forward this part and get to the good part. So for the next shade, I am gonna go ahead with uh, this color right here, which is like a light aqua looking color okay so just to blend those two colors together I am gonna go back into that like taupey purpley color and I'm just gonna blend that just to make it a smooth uh, transition. Uh, I'm just gonna go in again and just add a little bit of more blue. We are gonna take this beautiful color right here and oh my god guys gorgeous so we're gonna use that color I, I mean I have been into these colors you guys don't understand like I wish I could make every single look using that color so and I know that I just posted something similar to that color um, on Monday, but I couldn't help myself, so I incorporated this look with that color. Okay, using the Ulta, using the Elf uh, Flat Shader Brush, I am going to go ahead and use that green, and I'm just going to put it in the center of my eye. And I'm going to just take that up a bit above the eyelid 
we'll blend that out later and like I said these colors have to be built up so just take it a little bit of time take your patience and take a snack no I'm just joking just take time to blend it and build it up to the color that you want all right so for the next color we're gonna go with this cobalt looking blue and it is amazing really really that itself I'm gonna do a tutorial just for that color but for today but for today we're gonna incorporate that so with my flat shader brush here on my Mary Kay brush I'm gonna add some of that blue Oops. And I'm just going to add it to the edge of the eyes. Blend it into that green, teal looking color. Let it make a whole new color. Oh my goodness gracious, when this pops, amazing! I'm going to go ahead and try using my Ulta Cosmetics in Winks and Kiss to see if the inner um, is able to get more brighter. And I'm going to use this shade right here, which is called Always. Use again the flat shade of brush. I kind of wanted something that would have made it shiny, but... So it definitely brightens it up. Maybe I could add some of the mineral. Alright, so I am going to go with the blendy side that I had before. And I am going to just blend that light shade blue. Make sure that everything is smooth on the top part here. Amazing! nice all right so that's almost done so I am gonna go ahead and take out the tape with a big fluffy brush just gonna go ahead and wipe out that excessive fallout I'm gonna go ahead and review this product right here which is the physician formula mineral powder foundation I did purchase this e.l.f. powder brush and it is amazing. I used this the, um, yesterday to try out the foundation and so I'm going to use it again and maybe, hopefully I don't put a lot because I don't know if that was another thing too that made it look very like powdery and stuff. So let's try this bad boy out one more time. So now I am going to contour and using my Wet n Wild, the contouring palette, I am going to use the brown shade here. This one is in Cough in Caramel Toffee, not Coffee Toffee. Okay, and I'm not going to do any, like, any um bold contouring today. I'm just going to keep it very subtle. I just want to have some type of shadow, but nothing to define. I think that's just all I'm going to do. I'm going to be using the L Stippling Small Stipple Blush and I dropped it. In the Elf Small Stipple Brush to apply the highlight. I am going to go what I did yesterday and it didn't do anything for me. I swirled all of these three colors and then I applied the highlight I'm gonna go with this color right here, which is like a champagne -y pink color. And I'm just gonna apply that to see if that would give me some type of like, some type of happiness to my highlight life. Let's see. 
Okay. So this is better than doing the swirl. Okay. We'll see how it goes, how I like it through all of these. Moving on, we're going to put some blush. I am going to go with this color right here. It's more of an, uh, I'm going to go with this color right here. It is more of a neutral. It is called apple cider. So I'm going to use that. Now I am going to go off camera and I'm going to do my eyebrows and my mascara. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows but I'm not going to do my mascara just yet because I forgot to do the bottom part of my eyelid and my eye look. So I want to leave this for last. But this is the mascara that I will be using. So let's finish the bottom eye first. And I'm, so I am going to go ahead and add this eyeliner which is the Jordana Eyeliner Easy Liner in teal. I am going to add that in my waterline and then I'm going to add the Jordana Easy Liner in black under my eye and I'm going to smoke that out. Boop. What am I doing here? Playing the drums. I'm just going to go ahead and um, buff the black eyeliner under my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and add a wing line with the Maybelline gel line. Now that my eye wings are done, I'm going to go ahead and add some of my highlighting tiki in the inner part right here because I want it just to be a little bit more, you know, shiny. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my mascara in the Falsies Maybelline to make those blushes mascara is on and all I need to do is go ahead and put some of my lips ahead with my wet and wild uh, peach it's just peachy and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that as my lip hey guys so this completes the look what do you guys think I think it's a very fun spring look um, I definitely will wear this I know that maybe for some people it would be outside of the box and it may be like too colorful but oh my gosh I am so in love with this color look I am so in love I, I am probably gonna wear this this weekend because I truly truly love the way this came out but if you like this video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you head out and Stay tuned for Friday. Friday of this week, I will be having my husband do my makeup. So, you should be just as nervous as I am. Just a disclaimer. Just as always, be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!